Hey, good to see you. My name is Bill Walichka. Welcome to my Facebook page and welcome to an amazing group of people on the Facebook page called the Tragically Hip Ultimate Fans and Friends Group and also welcome to my YouTube channel. Hanging out at the Bathhouse here in Bath, Ontario. It's located about uh, 20 minutes west of Kingston, Ontario. Bathhouse, of course, uh, an old Victorian home purchased in the mid-90s by the Tragically Hip. They have recorded many albums here as well as some of the Hip Guys solo albums and countless other bands. Just knowing there was magic created here and the songs that we love and adore were birthed and recorded within these walls is always mind-blowing to me so many favorite things I have about the bathhouse one of them is the fully completely mural hand skin many hip videos have been recorded here nautical disaster was shot out on Lake Ontario across the street and in this room this view through the window is prominent in the video. I've been coming here for years on different assignments and uh, some fun times. Returning once again for a very cool project. Uh, it is a compilation of Kingston artists that are going to be using the bathhouse for recording and uh, when you consider the very essence of the band behind these walls. What an amazing opportunity. Um, I'm going to give you some interviews with uh, some of the people behind this project and a little bit of a tour of the bathhouse. What we're doing is we have a platform that we've created called QR the Band, and it's basically a press kit for musicians. So it's it, there's no extra software, there's no apps on it. Basically, it's just an index for everything that they have. We just have links on it, so they can go and share their information, and they can even put their tip application on there if they want one or they have one. If they not don't have one, we can create one for them. So what it is though is we, we the cure of the band is the purpose of it is to come up with thirty thousand dollars a year. And then what we do is we push that back into our community at, at certain events like this, a bathhouse or it could be in, in uh, Empire Theater, it could be on Wolf Island. We're focusing on bathhouse right now. But we pay for a complete uh, video for a musician. Just one video and their song recorded. They actually get the rights for that song, right? Yeah. Michael? So they, they have to do, uh, really the only prerequisite is uh, original song and be a performing artist, right? So, I mean, as you know, because you've interviewed so many of them, right? There's tons of talent in Kingston, and, but it's really tough in the music industry. So we're trying to get people to give them a leg up kind of thing. And this whole thing is called Give Me a Break, actually. Right. right. So we're giving people a chance. This is all Dave's idea. Actually, he's sort of like the mastermind and all that. I'm just here because my good looks and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Approaching some of the musicians, they're kind of like, okay, what's the catch? Because it just seems like it's too good to be true. true. Yeah, yeah, exactly, right? Honestly, I did think it was too good to be true, but like, it's a fantastic opportunity, and I'm, I, I don't know when I'll be recording yet, but I'm so excited to get in the studio and, and make something really cool happen. It's all okay. about helping musicians. So. That's amazing. Yeah. What an, what I just want to say one thing. Had this happened when I was younger, I could have been somebody. <laughs> Let's talk about now who's recording today. Tony Silvestri. So he was like really bummed out and all that kind of stuff, and now he's all all excited and stuff. He's coming in with original music and he's got his band. Like I don't know all of his members. I know Matt Woodward, of course, I've known him for years. But everybody, they're all accomplished musicians, and they're gonna do their thing downstairs, and they have like eight to twelve hours to do it. Um, and they just to do one original song. What does it mean for you to be playing here and to be recording here? Oh my gosh, um, an immense amount. It's hard to take in, you know, I'm thinking of words to say where even to start with the whole thing. To get to record your own song in this setting, this way, it's with the vibes that are here, all the other people that have sung into these microphones, everything is involved here. It's magic. Can you feel it when you walk inside? Uh, you can. I just, the smell, as soon as you walk into this place, is so nostalgic for some reason. But yeah, you can feel it too. You can't just smell it, you can feel it too. <laughs> what about the gear? Oh, it's amazing. To all the mics, the Neve board, all the stuff that's involved, the rooms sound amazing. That Yamaha piano is out of this world. It's gonna be quite the thing. I really think it's gonna sound good. When you walk into the uh, the bathhouse, is there a tangible sense of something special going on here? I was just talking to one of the other one of the other uh, performers that's going to be doing some of the tracks here, and uh, I came through the door, and I can honestly say that uh, I wept a little because I just there's so much history. I'm I'm leaned against. Who, who knows who leaned against here? And you look at the the Canadian royalty, like this is like Abbey Road's Canada to me. It, it really is. 
It really is. And I can honestly say that I had a tear in my eye when I when I when I came through the door. It was like this is so much history. And as you know, we were you know for that here as well to help out to be you know, Canadian musical rock and roll brilliant. Yeah, exactly. You know, and it was really super nice of him to actually come down here and help out because Tony had at one point. Why don't I grab him? Sure, grab him. Drink here. Yeah, we let's go find him downstairs. Good idea. Can you follow us? What did you first think when you heard about this project and where it's coming from? It well, being a leg up for the young musicians. Yes, that, that's middle-aged the, musicians yeah, in some cases. We have different yeah. categories. Yeah, I got sure. a lot of information last night uh, just about what, what it was all about, the long and the short story of it. But I mean, I'm just, uh, I'm interested in, you know, new and new musicians getting recognized. So I think it's a, it's a good thing. And this isn't someone's basement, though. This is the bathhouse. Yeah. Well, that's that's, that's another. I had never been here before. I'm driven by this Which place. Which amazed me. Didn't even clothes. know it was here. Yeah. Yeah. One of the cool things about the bathhouse is, as far as the hip is concerned, it is a bit of a museum. They store their gear here. Magic was created in these walls. Uh, there's old concert posters all over the place. There's awards. Their spirit is here. Their spirit, yeah. Did Kim Mitchell have a museum as all, at all? Where's his stuff it's, not, it's, it's in his basement. <laughs> his spirit is in his basement. <laughs> when you think about it, though, he must have stuff acquired from the 70s of Max Webster. There's all Tons sorts of stuff stuff. in storage, I think. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but yeah. the house is, uh, you'd never know it. Like, it's very, like, it's minimal, but it's very comfortable. Uh, there was a rumor back uh, in the uh, in the mid-80s at Much Music that in the All We Are video, when you're singing, there's uh, that's baby oil on your chest. Can you uh, dis dispel these myths here? Was that baby oil on your chest? Guilty. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it was all the directors and the, and the ladies that put it on me. I don't know. Oh, that is <laughs> well, there's people like you coming to our event like this, to coming to this nonprofit organization to help other musicians because you were there a long time before. Well, right. yeah. This is yeah. great what you're doing because it's, well, A, because the world needs more young musicians. Uh, this is a great way to go. Lord knows they need the help. Yeah.